The search is on for the perfect fall nude brown lip. Let's get into it. Good morning, we are at Walmart to get some fall lip glosses. Got my little sidekick with me, you ready? this one but that color looks really pretty and there's one left so I feel like it must be good this is disappointing but they do not have a big elf section no okay I got these two lip liners let's try this one try it try remember how I was looking everywhere for elf I think they messed up the signs because this is all elf, but it says Revlon. That's why I was confused. Leave it to Walmart. So this is everything I got. Do you see all this yumminess right here? All right, so these are the four lip liners that I got. And honestly, I am digging this one. This is elf and I think it was $2, but it was the creamiest and we're gonna go ahead and put this one on our lips. So it is dark, but that's okay because I think if you find the right nude lip, it's gonna look really good. Very creamy, holy guacamole. Start with the first nude lip. I don't know which one to pick. This one's calling my name. Elf Satin Lipstick in the shade Dry. Very sleek packaging, really pretty. <gasps> oh. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. I feel like with the lip liner, it's too dark. What do we think? I'm liking it, but I don't know. It's not what I want. Nope, it's not it. I think it's too rich of a brown for me. I'm wanting something like this, but a little bit lighter. Here's the first option. Don't hate it, but don't love it. I have my makeup remover, and I am just gonna wipe this off. Let's try Cold Brew by NYX. Let's see what we should use next. All right, this is just a lip gloss in the shade Honey Talks. We're just, see what it looks like by itself. I love a nice gloss. It would be pretty to use on top of a lipstick. It's a nice lip gloss, it feels nice, it smells good, all that fun stuff, but not what I'm going for, so. Does anyone else just love fall time? Ugh, oh, I just get so excited for the pumpkins and the apple cider. All the fun stuff, you know. Maybelline in the shade 50Y100. It looks really pretty, but could look different on the lips. That's really pretty. It reminds me a lot of this, of the first e.l.f. lipstick, but not as dark and crazy. I usually hate matte lipsticks, but this is like a very creamy matte. It feels really good. Do you guys remember the matte lipsticks back in the day that would give you like the butthole lips? Like, ew. <laughs> so far, this is top contender. I don't want to wipe it off. All right, next up is, ooh, it has SPF 25 in it, nice. The shade is, that's my jam. So let's see if this is my jam. <laughs> let's see what this looks like. Mm hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> I'm not like after super long lasting, like I don't need to like have this for a wedding that's gonna last all day or anything. This is more for just personal use, filming, going on dates with hubby. Ooh. Mmm, I like that. The gloss feels really nice. It's got a nice smell to it. What do we think? This might be my favorite. I don't know. These two, I can't pick a favorite right now, but definitely top two. I don't know if anything can beat those two, but we're gonna we're gonna keep going. We have this one by Wet n Wild. This was like three or four dollars. This is in the shade Mocha Licious. This is what it looks like. Ooh, ooh, she's kind of dry. She's not very creamy. It's like, ugh. Color looks pretty. Ew. Mm. I don't like it. It's not as creamy as the other ones. Mm -mm. No, nope. I feel like it's like settling in between my, my fine lines and my lips. That was fine. This is by L'Oreal in the shade Le Nude Assertive. Oh, looks like someone used this before me. That's great. 
Someone put their nasty, crusty lips or fingers on this before I did. So that's great. I'm just gonna smear this real quick on a piece of paper. Well, this is a Band-Aid. Just to kind of get that first layer off. Cause why do I gotta be nasty like that? I do miss like the testers. I, do they still do testers in Ulta and Sephora? Since COVID, I don't even know if people still do that. Hopefully it looks just as beautiful um, on my lip. Oh Lord, have mercy. It looks like dookie. Oh no. Mm-hmm, mm. Oh no. Ew, I hate this. I don't even wanna keep going, I hate it. Ah! Ew, ew. Mm. No, I do not want doo-doo lips. It looks like I ate a duty sandwich, so mm mm mm. So far we have two potentials and we have uh, four that are non-potentials. It's by Revlon in the shade 300 Coffee Bean. Very brownie toned. Oh, that's pretty. Very kind of sheer. Nice formula, very nice formula. Very hydrating feeling. I do really like this formula. I like the color, but not the color I'm after. All right, we're going back to e.l.f., no doubt. Right off the bat, I can tell you it's not one that I think is going to be right. Mm -hmm. looks like, it looks like I have clay or something on my lips. All right, I'm going to try putting this gloss on it. I don't hate it. I don't know. No, I think I like it. I think it's a thumbs up. What do we think, you guys? I'm interested to hear what you guys think. Um, this is by Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Oh, on the grind. It's really nice and creamy. Ooh. I like it. I'm gonna add it to the to the keep pile. The keep pile is growing, you guys. I don't know how I'm gonna pick a favorite, so I'm gonna need you guys to pick a favorite for me at the end of this. This is a lip plumping pen. Because you just click B. Oh, stop. Top three for sure for me, at least. I love the color, I love the shine. I'm a glossy girl. All right, this next one is from NYX Slick Click Fat Oil in the shade In a Mood. One. Here is what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. More of a red tint to it. Not, well, I like it. Mmm. Yes, for me, that is a, ah, mm. This is gonna be hard, like, trying to narrow it down, trying to pick one. <laughs> All right, this one is a gloss by Maybelline. It's in the shade Taffy. Looks like, mmm. Gosh, what? <laughs> I'm getting real messy over here, guys. I like it. Am I, like, obsessed with it? No. I'm gonna put it in the yes pile, but I'm not gonna, like, choose it. NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Bling. That's a bling in it. I think there's better options that we have here, so not an immediate yes. It, it, this was really hard, all right? This was really hard. Um, it really came down to these two as far as like the mattes, but I went ahead and I went with this one right here, although I, I really like this one, but this is just more me. It is more neutral, but it's still got that kind of brownie fall tone in, and it's not too dark. It's kind of the perfect fall nude for me, at least. And then for the glossy gloss, I'm gonna show you my favorite one. Okay, for the pigmented gloss, can you guys guess which one I chose? The next one! I love the color. I actually really enjoy the color. It has a little bit of like a red tint to it, but it's very pigmented, it's very smooth, it's very hydrating, it screams fall, so. A runner up was the e.l.f. one. I, I'm still gonna rock the e.l.f. because it's a beautiful mauve color, which I also think is perfect for fall, but this one, this one tugged at my heartstrings a little bit, so I chose it. Yeah, I hope you liked this video and found it helpful and Hopefully you don't go wasting your money on fall lips because I did it for you. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.